What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. It is 5.49, 5.50 a.m. right now. We're going to Chicago for the very first time. Right now, we're about to head to the airport. We're just getting ready. We know for right now I'm very, very, very tired. But yeah, we're gonna head to the airport in a little bit. We'll see you guys there. Sunny. Yeah, rain. It was really sunny all week. And now it has to rain on the bridge. But yeah. Um the rest of my parents are using the bathroom. We're probably gonna get food. Then we'll get to Chicago around 11-ish, like an hour and a half flight. At least are you excited? He's tired. We're all hungry, so and we're also like not together on the flight. So I don't know if I'll vlog on the plane or, or get a window seat. So we'll see. But yeah. See you guys when I get to Chicago or on the plane. Peace. Please take a moment to find the exit closest to you. And remember, they might be behind you. If there's a loss of power, just we just land landed in Chicago. We're in the we're in the airport right now. Still, with about an hour, an hour and a half flight, with a lot of turbulence. <laughs> we're just bouncing around everywhere. That was so it was so turbulent. That was the most turbulent. Wasn't that though? I just walked back to the all I did was walk back to the future the whole time. Wait, did you sleep the whole time? I don't really know. I was listening music. Oh, that's true. Well. We'll, we'll see when you guys we'll see what we do. We get out of here. Alright, we're going to the train right now. Hopefully get into citywide train. And yeah. <laughs> we'll see what we're gonna do today. Explore. Because this travel explore day. First time in Chicago. Hurry and travel explore day. Huh? Everyday travel next morning. That is true. Welcome, come in to our very humble home in the great Chicago, Illinois. I don't know what hotel this is. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> you got the first, as you see here, an elegant uh, sink. We have luxurious uh, things to clean yourself with with a conditioner, bath gel, ooh, shampoo, alcohol wipes. We got a mirror right here. And then you look behind you, we have a mirror, right, another mirror right here. And I don't know, there's an elegant sneaky and it's right here, I think is a TV. Or a camera thing you can spy on people. And over, over here. <laughs> over here, <laughs> pillows. Pillows? What? Towels. <laughs> and then you got a, a, a bath, and then you got a shower area, and then you got a phone. So Man, you know, a phone. When you're on the toilet, you can talk to some person. Thing. And if you see on the closet here, you know, you know how it is. So, let me enter. As you see here, we have the grand mirror right here, and two beds with a TV and a desk, and a little couch thing, and great jumping on. We also have a beautiful view of some construction workers and a lot of buildings. This is better than the other view on the other side, because it's Trump Tower. Ooh, elevator. Okay. Well, that, that's a room tour. We're going to be out on the riverfront in a little bit. So, yeah, we'll see you there. We're on our way to Wrigley Field just to go check it out right now. Yeah, we live right next to the uh, Riverwalk, <laughs> so to get some food. So that's too close. <laughs> Ew. to Wrigley Field. Luis is so happy right now. Yeah. Even though we didn't get a game, which later we're going to a White Sox game yeah. later this week. So look out for that later soon. Oh, this looks so huge. Oh my god.
Why do you even smash the ball over in these seats? Those seats up there, the rooftop seat. That's crazy though. Oh look, Chicago Cubs. Alright Luis, what, what did you just pull out here? What, what did you pull out? Luis just basically convinced our dad to get a tour around Wrigley Field at 4 o'clock. And like his top three stadiums, the ballpark that we've been to, is, or he wants to go to is Yankees, Red Sox, and Wrigley. So we've been to Yankees already. But, oh, it's gonna be so cool if we get to go. Or, at four. And then after this, I think we're gonna, or well, after you get the tickets, we're gonna get a picture with the Wrigley Field, the, the, uh, the sign. The sign. When 2016, they're out here, and then uh, Chris Bryant, Anthony Rizzo showed up on the screen, Bra uh, not Braves, the Cubs winning. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Luis is so excited. It's actually a good day. Cut off the plane, it came straight here. Now we're gonna get to it at 4 o'clock. Hopefully, I can take a video about it. Let's see. <laughs> Alright, so we're waiting for the tour that Luis Finesse. Where do we start? Four. Luis Finesse is waiting to get this tour. Come on, Dad, how do you feel about this? It's history. I'm happy. Hot though. Alright. I'm hungry though. I do want some oh, deep yeah, dish right. pizza. I do want some deep dish. It's very cool. Great first day of Chicago. Watch out behind you. <laughs> Great first day. Great start. Great start to the Dan, first day. Dan, Dan, yeah. Lisa, it's on. Yeah. Let's see Bring Field for the first time. So exciting. <laughs> It's so different from State Farm. Or not State Farm, SunTrust. Yeah. It feels lower down from SunTrust. Yeah, right? Now you are seated in the second oldest ballpark in all of Major League Baseball. Anybody know what the oldest is? Fenway. Fenway Park, that's right. Fenway Park in Boston was built in 1912. We were built 1914. Anybody know the third oldest? Not so cocky now, are we? Huh? Mm. Yes. Angel Stadium. Dodger Stadium. Ah. <laughs> Not Angels, Close. Dodger Stadium. Uh, Dodger Stadium was built in 1962. Now, this ballpark wasn't always called Wrigley Field. It wasn't even originally built for the Chicago Cubs. History of this ballpark begins with a man named Charles Wiegman. But what Charles Wiegman truly loved was baseball. Now at this time, back in the 1910s, we've got three professional baseball teams here in Chicago. We've got the Cubs, but they're not playing up here on the north side of town. We think of the Cubbies as being a north side team. But at that time, they were playing on the west side of town at a ballpark known as the West Side Grounds. Pretty accurate title for that ballpark. We've got the White Sox down on the south side playing at Old Comiskey Park, where, they, where they've always been. Then we have a third team called the Chicago Federals. The Federals were part of a separate major league called the Federal League. And that was the team that Charles Wiegman owned. Uh, now, the Federals, they played their games at DePaul's campus. Charles Wiegman, he wanted a real ballpark for his baseball team. So he came up here, he was looking for a place that he could build his ballpark. He came up here to the Lakeview neighborhood. Now, what was standing here, that was a Lutheran seminary at the time. I'll say that one more time for you. There was a seminary, it was not a cemetery, <laughs> right? No dead bodies buried out there. We've got one thing buried out there, and it's the hopes and dreams of generations of Cubs fans. <laughs> he guesses as to how long it took to build this ballpark. 20 years. 20 years. A little less than that. Five. Five years, two years. Keep going down. Ten months. One year. Ten months. Keep going down. Six, Six months. months. Six months. Less. Three what? months. Oh my God. Keep going down. Okay? Today. We're talking about five weeks. Wow. <laughs> We're talking five weeks to build the ballpark. 
what we had was a little 14,000 seat park. Uh, the seats were just the very lower section, went from one end of the dugout, wrapped around behind home plate, went to the other end of that dugout. We called it Wiegman Park. He lets the people of Chicago rename his baseball team. Because, let's think about it. He's got a team called the Federals, and they're playing in the Federal League. It's kind of boring, right? I feel like if there was a team called the Nationals that played in the National League. Huh? <laughs> 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 from Washington here? Yeah. After they tallied them all up, we had the new name. The number one vote getter was the Chicago Chickens. <laughs> thing that never happens in Chicago. We rigged the vote and we went with number two instead of number one. The number two vote getter was Chicago Whales. All right? Whales, whales, like, that makes about as much sense as chickens come out here and the whales win the federal league championship that year so everybody please give it up for the 1915 the federal league champion chicago whales yes oh beautiful you'll want to keep it going for them they're still the reigning federal league champions because the league went bankrupt after three seasons longest home run sammy sosa that's what we think sammy sosa hit a ball that went probably between the fourth and fifth trees back there on that street. Well, the run of the year, he scored twice tonight. There's another bomb way out of this ballpark. That one's down Kenmore, over the tree. Now we've got a group of guys that hang out here during the game. We call them the ball hawks. They hang out on Waveland Avenue waiting for balls to leave the park so they can collect them. The ball hawks ran out to the spot that that ball landed with a can of spray paint, marked it, and wrote Sammy. Now that street has been repaved four or five times, and the mark just gets moved back a little bit more every <laughs> time that they repave it. So if you want to go see the site of Sammy Sosa's 900-foot home run, that's the spot to do it. It's amazing he did it on vitamins. <laughs> a lot of these buildings are older than the park itself. These are private residences. Uh, it used to be that the people that lived in those buildings, they could uh, just climb up their fire escape, before there was any seats up there, it was just flat rooftops. They just climb up their fire escapes, bring a cooler of beer, bring some snacks, invite a friend, maybe a lawn chair. They could just sit and watch the game from up there. Cubs, uh, Cubs got really good in 1984. Broke a 39 year streak of no playoff appearances. Now, uh, if you knew anybody that knew anybody that lived in one of those buildings, you tried to get up on the rooftop. The roofs were starting to sag a little in the middle. Uh, some of the owners of the buildings would just set up cones in certain spots and say, well, you don't want to step there. That's the soft spot. <laughs> so city of Chicago shut it down. They said, you can't put people up there. You can't have people up there. It's an accident waiting to happen. Not unless you reinforce those roofs. You put up real seats. That's the only way that you can do it. If you want to go watch a game up there, it's going to cost you between 100 to 125 bucks, somewhere around there. That might be, see, I, I saw some wide eyes on that one. Uh, it is, it's pretty steep for a seat that is not even inside of the ballpark. But what you gotta know is it's all inclusive over there. It's all you can eat. It's all you can drink. All right? Yeah, way better picture right here. It's coming in, it's coming in. Luis, <laughs> Luis <Please>, reaction. <laughs> Where are all the ivy? We're at the stadium. Oh my god. We're on the field. This thing, you're gonna get a nice little scrape. This is the. Yeah, you get, you get a nice little break. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're going to the dugout. The Cubs dugout. Go check it out. We'll be sick. My GoPro's gonna die soon, though. Oh, they broke the thing. The TV broke? Yeah, that's he said the 11 game will lose you streak. Wow. So they just kept it like that? Yeah, well, I mean, hey. Oh. It's like two weeks ago. Oh, it was? 11-game losing streak? Helping out for the 11-game winning streak. I can do this all day. <laughs> oh my God. That was... That was amazing. If you're in Chicago, looking for something to do like first time definitely do that it's 30 dollars but it's like massively massively worth it it was that was so much fun a lot of history that i didn't know and it was like it was like so cool um yeah 
Now we're gonna probably go get food, pizza, some deep dish pizza, and have that for the first time. So we'll see you guys at the restaurant that I forgot the name of. This your dish, George, what is it called? Jordan, George. Oh, this your is a pizza brand. <laughs> Giordani's. I think it's that. We're gonna go get some deep dish pizza because we're all hungry. We haven't eaten since we got off charger? Yeah, I do. I need portable charger. Okay. All right, right now we are at. What's the place to go? Giordano's. Giordano's. We're about to get deep dish pizza and then we'll get all of our reviews and then after we eat the pizza, uh, we get a uh, best out of 10. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So after we eat pizza, we're all going to give our, our stuff. We're watching the White Sox game too. Ooh, that's my camera. My zone, my camera. Oh. Camera eats before eyes. Yeah. Camera eats first. Which one is this side? Just eat something. Deep dish piece of Lego. Out of 10, Luis, what do you get this deep dish pizza? I'm gonna give this a 9.5. Out of 10. Okay. Out of 10. <laughs> Out of 10, what do you give? Give the, this is a 10. 10. So we have a 10. So it's, it's, right now it's a 10. Oh. No, I? I don't know. I'm just waiting until I try. <laughs> zoom in on your face. Why are you zooming up on my face like that? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I enjoyed it. I have to. I can only rate it when I try the other place. <laughs> okay. Out of 10, I'm gonna give it a 9.59 because it was so good. But you haven't tried the other place. I haven't tried the other place. So, we'll adjust according to. <laughs> we'll have to adjust according to. But so far, the dish pizza for the first time was really good. Yeah. So, stop. So, yeah. We're gonna go back home. As I say home, go back to the hotel in a little bit and then go explore the river walk. So yeah, it's been a good day. Wrigley Field was amazing. Luis got a shirt. I got a sticker. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> That's your free sticker. First night in Chicago. Look at this. Inside that building, we're gonna go to the river walk, we gotta cross the street, get some food, or food. Chicago has a daily night show, like light, light show on one of the buildings and this is what it is. It looks pretty cool. Can't really hear sound yet because I don't think we're close enough. But it looks pretty cool on the building. Ooh, gelato. 